everybody. My name is Eric Johnson, and I'm a professor of multilingual education at Washington State University um, on the Tri-Cities campus. And um, right now, I am partnering with the Finley School District to explore the possibility of starting a dual language program uh, in Finley. And as part of that process, we are um, excited to reach out to community members and, and families to um, get some input and, and um, that will help guide us through the process of whether or not we can uh, start the program. So the first question that people usually have is like, what is a dual language program? So dual language classrooms include speakers from two language groups. So in Finley, that would be Spanish and English, okay? Half of the class comprises students who are speakers of English as their primary language, and the other half of the class uh, includes students who are speakers of Spanish. Now, they're uh, as the primary language. There are, there are other languages uh, in dual language programs um, across Washington, but in Finley, we're going to uh, talk about Spanish and English. Um, so students are learning academic content in both languages. So they spend half of the day learning in Spanish and the other half of the day learning in English. And they don't relearn the same thing in both languages. Instead, the language of instruction um, differs by the academic content. And so if they have math in Spanish, then they um, would not have math in English uh, until the following year, then it would switch. So they're learning in the language versus um, just studying the language. Now, the, the students um, need to start the dual language program in kindergarten. And as they move up through those grade levels, it becomes very difficult for new students to come in when they haven't had previous instruction in that language. So that's why it's necessary that we get them going right away. Um, so the, the dual language programs have to go through at least eighth grade, um, and hopefully they would have more opportunities in high school to take content courses um, in Spanish. Now, dual language programs are not the same as world language or foreign language classes. Um, and dual language classrooms are covering the exact same uh, curriculum and content as the um, students in the all English classrooms. Dual language programs are not exclusive. Okay, it's it's um, open to all students uh, from all backgrounds and ability levels, accommodation needs. Um, it's to promote equity across all students. Um, and participation in the dual language program would not be required. There will always be um, English, all English, regular general ed classrooms um, in case families were not. Um, supportive or, or decided not to um, put their students in the program. So what would it look like? So this, the program that we're considering for Finley is called a 50-50 program. So half the day is in English and half is in Spanish. And so when you think about um, Finley's demographics, there are three classrooms per grade level and about 20 students per classroom. And so for a dual language program, we'll use kindergarten just as an example. Um, you would have two classrooms that would be designated as dual language classrooms. And then the third classroom would just be the regular English classroom. And so what you see is like in the, in the morning, you have a dual language class A and a dual language class B. Okay, um, in classroom one here, the teacher is speaking Spanish and teaching in Spanish. And so you'd have like Spanish language arts, social studies and math. In the AM in classroom two, you have the dual language class B, right? And they're learning English language arts and science in all English. Now then they go to lunch and when they come back, the groups swap and so the class that is classroom or dual language class B would now be with the Spanish speaking teacher. And then they would get the Spanish language arts, social studies and math in Spanish. And then the classroom A would go to the English speaking dual language teacher and get English language arts and science in all English. Now for the regular um, English classroom, you just have students taking all of the content in English, they don't change classrooms, they would stay with that teacher. All right, so it's an, um, it's an efficient way to be able to have one Spanish speaking teacher, um, but yet two groups of dual language 
um, students. And that helps as you progress through the grade bands, you can mix and match the students every year. Um, so they're not with the same peers every day, every year. So to grow a dual language program, um, you have to start just with kindergarten in the first year, okay, because of the language needs. Um, and then in the second year, the, the green cell is like the initial group. In the second year, you that group goes to first grade, right? And you have dual language in kinder and first. And then the following year, you would have it in kinder, first, second, and so on and so forth. Until year six, you have um, complete implementation at the elementary level. So that means that dual language would be across all five grades. Um, in the following year, then there would be specific courses offered, content courses offered in Spanish at the middle school level and um, in sixth, seventh, and eighth. And then as you get into high school, you would get specialized courses um, in the high school as well. Now, why dual language? So this is uh, this is research based on the effectiveness of different types of programs for um, speakers of other languages, so multilingual students um, who don't speak English as their primary language. And as, as you can see, there this is technical, but there are different types of, of programs, whether it's uh, ESL, like English as a Second Language, or you have different types of bilingual programming that, that looks like uh, dual language to some extent. But with dual language, you see that as students progress through the grade levels, they not only meet the average, so they're doing academically just as well as um, regular English speaking peers in, in English classrooms um, by a, you know, about eighth grade, but they're doing it in two languages. So they're bilingual and biliterate in academic content. Um, and then those that continue through high school, they start to um, they start to exceed their the ability levels or the academic ability levels of their regular peers, and so this has really been um, important to help justify the spread of the programs. Now, the main um, set of guidelines for dual language program development can be found uh, by doing a Google search for the guiding principles for dual language education if you want to explore more information. Um, but this all rests on these three guiding pillars or foundational pillars. We want students to focus on being bilingual and biliterate. Programs strive for high academic achievement and they push for sociocultural competence, meaning students who grow through these programs become um, more so socially cultural aware of their peers and their community um, and are able to engage in um, bilingual situations professionally, academically, and socially. Now, the dual language programs are a main emphasis for Washington's uh, Department of Education. And the current head of the Department of Education, which is called the OSPI, wants all districts to have dual language programs by 2040. Um, now, if you are interested, you can just do a Google search for OSPI dual language, and it'll take you to the website that has a lot of the rationale and um, descriptions for these programs across the state of Washington. So finally, um, I know that was a, a pretty quick introduction to dual language programs, but we really would like your input. Um, we are going to be sending around a link for a survey that is very brief. Uh, to, it'll probably take you less than two minutes. And we are going to use this input to help craft the um, recommendation that we put forward to the Finley School District Board and um, on whether or not we should uh, move forward with the adoption of a dual language program or not, okay? So the questions that you'll be prompted to answer are very basic, right? So do you think the Finley School District should start a dual language program? Just a yes or no. Would you be interested in putting your children in a dual language program in Finley? Even if your kids are, are older, um, if you did have kids at that kindergarten level, would you want them to start and be in the program? Okay. And if not, what, what, why not? Like what, um, what concerns might you have? And then there'll be a field 
for additional questions or concerns that we should consider before moving forward. I really appreciate uh, the time you spent listening to this video, and I hope to see uh, a lot of comments and feedback that can help guide us through this really important process.